Hey, how can I help you? I have here an Egyptian scarab ring. It was given to me by my father a couple of years before he passed away. And I'd like to know if this is the real thing or not. All right. So was your dad like Indiana Jones or something like that? Not, not <laughs> in the least. <laughs> The scarab ring is from the 18th dynasty, 1500 BC. My father received the ring from his stepmother, who was a world traveler. I'm selling the ring because I would like to see it go to someone who could really appreciate the artifact. This is really cool. Do you mind if I pick this up? Oh, no, no, go right ahead. OK, it's a scarab way back in Egypt. Everybody had one. It was more or less the equivalent of people wearing a cross or something like that. I mean, sometimes they'd drill a hole in it, put like a little piece of leather around it to really, really extravagant jewelry that the pharaohs would wear. Right, right. Scarabs are generally carved from stone and glazed either blue or green. It looks like an old scarab, but the question is, is it really 3,000 years old? Ooh, what is this? Oh, that is the card from the guy that sold it over in Egypt. And he wrote on the back that it's guaranteed that it's from the 18th dynasty, uh, 1500 BC. OK. So I'm assuming you want to sell it? Yes, I do. And how much would that be for? I would like uh, 15000 for it. OK. Do you mind if I have someone look at it? No, that oh. would be great. Okay. I'd really like that. I mean, this thing is truly is 3,500 years old. There, there's something here. But I am not a 18th Dynasty scarab jewelry expert. But believe it or not, I know someone who is. <laughs> really? No kidding. Yes, I, I do. Give me five minutes. Okay. I'm going to give him a call and see what he thinks of it. That okay? Sounds good. All right, sounds I'll be right back. All right, thanks. I am really looking forward to an expert coming because the ring is something different that the, I think the shop would have no problem selling. I haven't seen too many of them around. She has a scarab ring her grandmother picked up in Egypt, and this is the only paperwork she has right here. And remember, they don't have a better business bureau there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just put it that way. Do you mind if I touch the ring? Oh, go right ahead. Um, this beetle was a dung beetle. As these dung beetles would roll this big ball of dung that they would deposit their eggs in, that one will die. A new beetle would come from that ball and then turn around and start pushing the ball. And so for the Egyptians, when they looked at that, they said, well, look, that thing's magical. It's got eternal life. And consequently, it became a very magical bug to them. That is neat. The Egyptians put the scarab on rings. They put it on necklaces. They painted it on the front of the mummy and even on the entryways to the Egyptian temples. So that's how important of a symbol the scarab was. So is it real? And brought my little magnifying glass along here so that maybe you guys can see as well. Right there is a sun, a rake, and a scarab. Underneath it, an ibis. And that says to me, 18th dynasty. And King Tut came from this dynasty. Usually one of these went in almost every mummy. So, and there were a lot of people that died in all those thousands of years. So there are quite a few of these in Egypt is what I'm trying to say. Now, the second thing you have to look at with this, that when I study the gold work on this, can you see the rope work on there? That sort of gold work is very indicative of like turn of the century, 1900 to maybe like 1905, 1910. It could have been made in Egypt and a lot of those antiques uh, went on with the King Tuck exhibit to be souvenirs. So this is probably a real scarab though. I think that is a real scarab, and from the look of it, it looks 3,000 years old. OK, so what do you think it's worth? Well, you can get a scarab like that, I'm going to say right now, for maybe hmm, 250 So 250 mm -hmm. plus like $200 in gold? So you're looking at right around $450 to $500. Thanks, man. Okay. You're the best. Thank you very much. Thank you for I, solving the mystery. I enjoyed seeing it. I think this is an excellent buy for the shop because the ring is beautifully created and it's still in good condition. OK, so obviously it's not going to be $15,000. No, I guess not. I would give you right around $350 for it. Um, $1,500? No, it makes no economic sense for me to do this. I can literally make these for $450. $500. 
No. <laughs> I'm being really, really nice at 350. I really am. 375? <laughs> I'll tell you what, I will give you 360 bucks. All right. I'll take it. We got a deal then. We got All a right. deal. Follow me right up front. I think I'm going to take the $360. My husband and I can go out and have a really nice steak dinner and lobster too.